2001 A Space Odyssey, well actually it spans a <laughs> huge period of history, but the main thrust of it is that uh, the discovery of a black monolith prompts a, a mission to be sent out uh, to basically discover what's going on. So this was uh, a film made in the 60s and it was trying to predict uh, what uh, the future of you know, the early 21st century would look like. Stanley Kubrick took his usual very, very intense approach uh, to filmmaking and he put a lot of time into trying to get things correct. A lot of work was put into the sort of the dynamics, how things actually sort of move in space, what's required to engineer things in space, how people interact. However, 2001 didn't get everything uh, correct. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me and I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. How the, the artificial intelligence uh, was in their own words, born in 1992. In the early 1990s, we had not invented a pretty sort of developed AI. We don't really uh, even now have the reach that was suspected uh, or, or at least predicted that we might have uh, by 2001. When you consider when the film was being made, the 60s, huge amounts of resources were being put in to develop uh, the Apollo program. And, you know, perhaps uh, if that had continued uninterrupted for the next uh, uh, three, de three decades and more, and perhaps we would be um, sending manned missions to, to Jupiter. But in fact, one of the interesting things and why I sort of don't criticize 2001 uh, so much is that it's just that we've developed through different uh, sort of methods. We do loads of robotic missions to map out the solar system. We have huge telescope networks, including space telescopes, that look at the universe in phenomenal detail in loads of different ways. But we're not sending uh, people on manned missions to uh, uh, Jupiter, unfortunately, not yet.